in the heart of Paris, where the Seine River winds its way through the city like a lover's embrace, two strangers found themselves drawn to one another in ways that defied reason and logic. Alexander, a young American artist with a wild streak and an insatiable hunger for life's pleasures, had come to Paris in search of inspiration. It was here that he hoped to find the beauty and passion that would fuel his creativity and set his art apart from the masses. Sophie, a French woman born and raised in the City of Light, was no stranger to the allure of Parisian living. She had spent her life immersed in its culture, her soul nourished by the endless possibilities it offered. But despite her many adventures, she had never experienced the electrifying connection that now hummed between her and Alexander. Their first meeting was nothing short of serendipitous, a chance encounter on the banks of the Seine, where the sun was setting in a blaze of golden hues, casting long shadows across the water. As they exchanged pleasantries, Sophie felt something stir within her, a longing that she had not felt in quite some time. Alexander's eyes sparkled with mischief as he invited Sophie to join him for a glass of wine at a nearby cafe. She hesitated only briefly before accepting his offer, her heart racing with anticipation and excitement. Over glasses of red wine and plates of cheese, they spoke of art, life, and love. As the night wore on, their conversation became increasingly intimate, revealing the depths of their desires and fears, as well as the dreams that drove them to seek out new experiences. As the moon rose high above Paris, Casting its silver glow across the city, Alexander took Sophie's hand in his own, his touch electric against her skin. She felt a surge of heat course through her veins, her body alive with the possibilities that lay before them. With a nod towards the empty street beyond the cafe where no one else was about to witness their secret tryst, they rose from their seats and stepped out into the night. The air was cool and crisp, but the warmth of Alexander's hand in hers kept her steady as they walked. When at last they reached the quiet sanctuary of Sophie's apartment, she led him through its door with a sense of anticipation that left them both breathless. As the lights flickered on, casting shadows across the walls, Sophie felt herself falling deeper into the depths of desire, her heart pounding in her chest like a drumbeat calling out to the world. The night was long and filled with passion, their bodies entwined as they explored one another's most secret places. With each caress and kiss, they found themselves losing themselves in the other, their souls intertwining in a dance as old as time itself. In the days that followed, Alexander and Sophie continued to explore Paris together, their love growing stronger with each passing moment. They visited its museums and galleries, wandering hand in hand through its streets, their hearts beating in unison like the rhythm of the city itself. But even as they reveled in one another's company, they knew that their time together was limited, that eventually they would have to return to the lives they had left behind. And so, with each stolen moment and tender embrace, they sought to savor the sweetness of their love before it was too late. As the sun set on their final night in Paris, they stood beneath its ancient streets, their hearts heavy with emotion. For though they knew that their time together would soon come to an end, they also understood that their love had left an indelible mark upon both of them, a reminder that even amidst the chaos and uncertainty of life, there could still be moments of pure, unadulterated beauty. And so it was that Alexander and Sophie, Two strangers brought together by fate and circumstance found themselves forever changed by the magic of Paris. As they parted ways, their hearts heavy with sorrow and longing, they knew that their love would live on in the memories they had created a testament to the power of passion and desire, even amidst the shadows of life's great unknown. But perhaps, just perhaps, their story was not yet complete. The End